Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We still have our Mars prep sample retrieval, which we can't build a vessel for because we're researching it. Well, we're researching things to get us to where we can research it because we need the Ariane is upper stage six and the booster, I guess, as well, in order to be able to launch that baby. But for now, we actually don't have that much to do, so we'll just continue on to the next event. BCSS research complete, a large liquid, liquid fuel upper stage designed to lift heavy payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. All right, so now we can start on the Ariane upper stage. And we'll continue on to the next month. We are getting decent research, but not not great, not great. And we're not gonna get up to 90,000, but I did not expect to do that. 84,310, that's not bad. Six and a half thousand support in the last year. And we're launching the Solar Observatory in two months. So let's continue on. And Ariane 6 research is complete. A large advanced liquid fueled upper stage capable of lifting heavy payloads into Earth orbit and beyond. Now I want to see if we can do this with maybe a Titan with some boosters or something. Uh, but first, we need to launch our solar observatory, which has a horrible uh, launch reliability and a half horrible <laughs> payload reliability. But let's see. Let's see. Right. Weather is looking decent. Good conditions. 6% risk of going boom. Let's do it. We won't do the countdown here. This is just a side mission, you might say, or a quest mission. The rocket is looking good, though, so far. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, yeah, we are out of here. We are out of here. All right. And we do get a secure launch as well, which is nice. The uh, Atlas and the uh, Ariane 1 don't get any more reliable than they are. Let's see what we need to come up with here. 10, 6, and 4, and we need to contend with Drift. And we have a margin of uh, plus minus 1. All right. All right. So I think we'll go with a visual spectrum sampling first. That's just the best value for our power. Then we'll do a ground control connection. And... I think an orbital realignment that takes us to two zero and four. That seems reasonable to me. Oh, of course, we fail right off the bat, and again, that's twice out of three times when we should fail one out of four. So that's just wonderful. We have three turns remaining, three commands per turn. All right, so we have two and four, so we can. I think I'll do a visual spectrum sampling and we'll do a ground test connection and a data transmission taking our comms up high. Yeah. Come on. That's three out of four times we have failed when we should be failing one out of four times. All right. Let's introduce a bit of drift here with a external sensor alignment. Doing this three and two. Then we can do a data transmission. 
And then we can do an infrared mapping that almost takes us there. We can resist once. All right, I'm okay with that. All good on the data transmission and their infrared mapping just barely turns infrared. All right, so we need basically a comm and a data. So what we could do is do a ground control correction and infrared mapping and that'll get us there and we can do a recharging of power that takes us to our 50% bonus reward and we can resist both so that is all fine and dancy dancy dandy all right mission complete and we get some science and some support pretty good science for six months very good science for six months so I am happy about that. And we need, let's check out our uh, Mars prep sample retrieval here and see, because we can now do the Ariane and we could do the Saturn. Get that building right now. I think that's what we're gonna do. Saturn five. Ariane, it'll be expensive, but that's okay. We get it going right now. We'll do an upgrade for, I think we'll actually reduce cost. It's only 400,000 though. I think I'd rather do reinforced tank walls to launch, increase the launch reliability. Yeah. And the contractor, we could go with Messier Aerospace to increase the reliability even more. It'll take longer time to build, and it's an awfully ugly rocket, really. <laughs> That's not a pretty rocket, but I think we will do that. Let's take the time, get good launch reliability and we'll do that we'll launch in a year we don't have anyone else who even has the research for it i mean we're definitely going to be first so that's fine and we have new research available which means we go back to our x-ray telescope Yeah, we won't be first with it because who is it? Is China? Uh, no, Japan. Japan is launching it in a month. So we won't be first with it, but we can be second. And we need that research anyway to get down to the crude rover. So let's do it. Oh, and we have a mission slot available. Ooh. That is not half bad. And this is new. Utilizing unified Indian design will result in greatly reduced cost for supplementary boosters minus 75 percent build cost for supplementary boosters we haven't really been using uh, supplementary boosters much and i think i would much rather do this one though it's on over 120 months this is 400 4420 over 12 20 months I don't need to do a joint mission with the US and we don't need the money right now. Let's see what we have over here at Mercury. Exo we only did that. Exospheric studies in six months. That's not worth it. That's not worth it. 
So... I think we're gonna do the observations module. Yeah. Let's plan that. We'll give it extra power for sure. It's an expensive payload. Build it. And head back to the solar system. And we'll just say next event, which will be our X-ray telescope. Space tourist request. A billionaire entrepreneur has approached your agency with a quest to be taken to your modular space station where they will spend several months before returning to Earth. In exchange, they'll donate two million to the agency. Your engineers believe they can adapt their observations module missions spacecraft to safely carry an additional passenger, though your PR department have warned that taking the space tours may be received negatively by the public. We don't really need the money right now, so we're going to reject it. All right, X-ray telescope research complete. Many stellar objects emit X-rays, but as they are observed by Earth's atmosphere, they are impossible to study from the ground. This mission aims to launch a specially designed X-ray telescope into Earth's orbit, providing us a remarkable window, new window onto the universe. Okay. Uh, we need the payload as well, of course. We're doing 2,000 science a month right now. That is pretty darn good. Wow. Costs 5,000... 5.4 million to build. Maybe we do need the money. Next event. Okay... Next mission phase, ready for the Jovian Small Moon Survey. Okay. And the observations module payload is complete. Let's design a vehicle for it. Uh, we'll re reuse a shuttle for that. Wow, minus 25% reliability. We're going to do it anyway. We'll go with we'll go with Horus here for the composite casings and we'll go with Messier Aerospace to increase our launch reliability a bit we'll take an extra month to build but that's fine 478,000 all right Tell me in small moons. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. That is Jupiter there in the background. Eight, five, and five, and we need to do deal with radiation. Sixteen, ten, ten. Okay. We need to do something about radiation every turn. Every single turn. So we'll do... Let's see, we have five turns, three commands per turn. So if we do... Uh, location... Extrapolation followed by a packet transfer. Then we can do an external sensor alignment that will reduce us by five, but I don't see a way of. Actually, wait a minute. If we do a visual spectrum sampling, then we do. Uh, gyroscopic stabilization. So no matter what, we will be taking some radiation damage. We just will. There's no way around it. But I think this is a better bet. 7, 4, and 0. Uh, 
Uh, I think I'm okay with that. What is our reliability? It's reasonable at the moment. Shouldn't have said anything. Uh, let's resist it. And our... Ooh, nice. A little bonus there. But our reliability will go down to... Thirty-three percent. All right, we need some. If we do that, that seems pretty good to me. Twelve, ten, and two. Then we're pretty close. We do lose 5% reliability again, but we took it down by it twice. I'll resist that. Okay. And we get another two radiation going up here. So we need to do it again. And it costs us comms every single time. Or not comms, nav. What if we... Did this. 18, 11, 7. We will reduce reliability by 10%. But we are very close to our goal. And we only get one failure, which we will resist, because we will do not want it to cost us two additional nav. Now, we just need three additional nav now. So we can do that, and that, and that. That'll get us there. And we can resist if something goes wrong. So let's do it. All right, let's just resist that. And there we go. We have one. Very nice. Jupiter flyby done. A lot of support. Very nice science for five months. Very, very nice science for five months. Very good. The XMM Newton will be done next month. Uh, did they complete the... Yeah, they did complete the space telescope, which kind of sucks. But if we wait... Well, we, we need to design it and everything first, so we need to take a mission. Uh, what's the request mission over here? Impact analysis. For nine month mission, I'm not thinking that that is worth it. This is worth it. A centrifuge module. More than 3,000 support. Almost three and a half and more than 4,000 science. Let's plan that mission. Uh, we don't get any nice stuff, unfortunately, but that's what we're going with. All right. Next phase of Uranus flyby is in two months, and the XMM Newton completes next month, I think. Soviet Union engineers improve ISS module. A team of expert engineers from Soviet Union as part of the ongoing collaboration between agencies on the construction of your modular space station have shared several technological innovations that can be used in the assembly of the ISS module module. Module module, okay. Payload reliability of ISS module in your centrifuge module mission has been increased by 15%. Nice. And we have complete the XMM Newton research. Alright. 
Let's go with... I wouldn't mind getting the flute of flyby, but it's not really consequential, isn't it? Is it? Uh, I think I'll go with the Mars prep here. And what uh, finished Mars prep sample retrieval first will give us minus 50% for three months. Okay. We have a milestone mission here. The X-ray telescope. But we'll have to wait because we don't have any thing available because I was stupid. Okay. These won't be done anytime soon. That's building for five months. Mm. The observations module completes in four months. That completes in six months. So we're just going to have to wait. Great spot. Spectacular close-up images of Jupiter's great red spot ca captured during your Jovian small moon survey mission have featured prominently in the media. A tremendous anticyclonic storm. The great red spot is larger than the diameter of the Earth. Gain 250 support. All right. And the Uranus flyby mid-course correction is ready to be performed. So let's do it. It's cold again. It is cold again. Okay. Well. We need 16 of each. And we need to keep the temperature... Above zero and below three. Okay. Okay. That's a little harsh. That's a little harsh. All right. Uh, hmm. We can both heat it up and cool it down. We have six turns, four commands per turn. All right, so we don't have that much power. Okay, so if we do this, that's the best value power thing. Then we can do this, and then we can heat it up by doing that. That will give us seven zero and three. It won't do anything at the end of each turn, so that's kind of nice. And then we could do a cosmic dust analysis. Six, three, and five, and we are within bounds. I think that's a good start. And we'll resist that one. And the, ooh, nice. An extra nav. Not bad. So six, three, and six we have. Okay. So how about... We heat it up by two, we can't do that. Oh, we, we can't pull it down by two. We, we want to heat it up by two if need be. All right, so if we do data compression, that's expensive on our... Uh, 
Oh, it's not really expensive, but... Then we can do an ultraviolet imaging, which takes us down to zero. And then we can do a data compression, which takes us back up to one. And then... We have a lot of comms. We can't spend comms on a whole lot. Let's try this again. We can't spend comms on a whole lot, so... It doesn't really matter that much. If we do a gyroscopic stabilization... Then we can do an ultraviolet imaging. A data compression, just one. And then maybe a cosmic dust analysis. That will take us to 12, 7, and 9. We are within bounds, and we actually have quite a lot of stuff, and we'll still have four turns to go after this one. I think that works very well. We'll just resist it. I think we even have a turn to just charge up power if we want to. Okay. Let's do... Data compression. Cosmic dust analysis. This takes us to 16, 9, and 10. Then we can do... an orbital plane adjustment and a recharge of power. That uh, takes us to 16, 8, and 16. Let's do that. We can resist once. Okay. We still have three turns remaining. All we need is data. So how about we recharge twice. Then do... Hmm... Data isn't that hard, easy to get, really. Kind of need to do a low energy radiation thing. And then another recharge, I think. All right. So we have two turns remaining. We need five. So if we do this, if we do that, then recharge power twice. Then we can do a location extrapolation and a data compression, which will give us the bonus. So I think that's fine. Uh, we'll have to assist it. Alright, so a location extrapolation, a data compression, and two recharges. We can resist everything. We get our 50% bonus reward, and everything is fine. Perfect! Perfect! All right, Midcoast Maneuver complete. Bit of support, a tiny bit of science, but for a long time. All good. 
We have several things going on. We have funding of you in two months. We won't be getting to the next level, but I think we can live with that. Then the horse will be complete in three, the intrepid complete in four, and unity complete in five. So I think we're good. All right, budget review. Still made pretty good support, but it's getting further and fur further between that we go up a level. But I think we're okay. And we're okay for funds as well. Next, do next month. The Horus is complete with the observations module. Maximum mission training bonus increased by 100%. Not bad, not bad. We have decent reliability on both of them. So we'll send Jadius as our scientist. And we'll send Mature as a bootstrapper. And then I think we'll send a celebrity as well. We'll definitely go for the science boost. Definitely go for the science boost. It might actually not be worth sending the celebrity if we're not going for the celebrity boost. It does give us a plus 10% flat increase, so I think it's fine. And... Do we want to go in December just because? 50% extra science. We have our scientist on board. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, the Intrepid is complete. Mars prep, robotic rover research complete. Nice. Landing a robotic rover on Mars that is able to explore and study the terrain up close will provide tremendous insight into the geological history of the planet. It can also search for signs of past life and provide inspirational footage for millions back on Earth. Alright. And the sample retrieval vehicle is complete. <sighs> Increased frequency of suboptimal launch windows. I don't like that. I don't like that. We're going to do science training. We're very reliable. Of course, we're doing science training. And we'll go in November. We're not going in a suboptimal launch window. That's for sure. Confirm. Eight months. Let's just check. No one else even has the science let yet. So we're all good. Active missions. We don't have any mission slots available. We'll of course do the payload for the Mars prep. We're getting very little science at the moment, but the space station is giving us a nice boost. A nice boost. All right, next month. And we have the Unity complete. The centrifuge module. Okay, uh, expensive, but not doesn't take too long. The payload reliability is very high. We'll you reuse the Beetlejuice for this, for sure. It's actually quite expensive. Um, you know what? Let's refit it to have a composite casing. It still only takes three months. So let's give it the composite casing. We have very good payload reliability, very good launch reliability. Let's reduce the cost. Confirm. Refit that shuttle. And we have a new mission here. Inflatable module. Nice. Increased propellant capacity. Stop up on the launch states. Become optimal launch states. And the joint mission with the Soviet Union. Don't really care about that. Plus 20 reputation with the Soviet Union if we use that. Okay. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. What's this request mission we have out here at Jupiter? Galilean Moon Slime Eye. All right. That's kind of interesting too, but it's just such a long mission. We want to have our missions going constantly and we just wasted a lot of time because i was stupid 
So I think we're, unless it's Mars missions or milestone missions, basically, then we'll just go with uh, Earth missions, stay as close as home as possible, get the mission done, get a new one started. I think that's the plan. But that is the plan for the next episode, guys, because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.